Welcome back. Today, we're covering the top five TikTok trends that actually work. Coming in number one, we have the rice water hair rinse. This beauty practice surfaced claiming that rice water can strengthen your hair, add fullness, and possibly promote hair growth. Check out this video. Find an airtight container. Rinse and drain one cup of rice. Place in container and shake. Then let sit for 24 hours. The thinking is that the starchy water from the rice water is high in vitamins and minerals and contains this chemical called inositol, which is a hair rejuvenator thought to nourish hair follicles and boost shine. Now, the evidence does suggest that possibly this chemical can help with hair growth, but the evidence is very limited. But regardless, rice water is very gentle, protein-free alternative to harsh shampoos and might improve hair texture for some. Coming in number two, we have this nature cereal, which is an eco-friendly trend that involves snacking on edible plants and fruits directly from nature. Check out this video. This, my friends, is what breakfast cereal looks like for me. I call it nature cereal. This combination, I'm gonna share with you what it does for me specifically. Whenever I eat this cereal in the morning, first thing in the morning, it helps with digestion. So any kind of constipation issues, it'll, it'll help. It'll definitely give you relief in that way. But my number one thing. Now the benefit of this health trend goes without saying. Of course, a bowl of berries and fruits is higher in nutrition values than our typical cereals. While the only concerns include potential contaminants and how clean the fruits and berries are, and I'm not sure how good it tastes to add some water together with some berries, it is a great, viable, and vitamin-rich snack option. Coming in number three, we have the 12-3-30 workout for those who are short on time but want big results. Check out this video. I went back to my roots and did the 12 through 30 treadmill workout. Two years ago, I lost the first 10 pounds I was ever able to lose by doing this workout every day. All you do is walk on the treadmill at a 12 incline, three speed for 30 minutes. Sounds easy enough, but this workout is literally a killer. If you want to lose weight, but you don't. So this quick treadmill workout trend involves setting your incline to 12%, speed to three miles per hour, and walking for 30 minutes. And the claim benefits is that this has a higher fat burning effectiveness and easy accessibility for beginners. Now, studies does show that inclined walking burns more calories than flat walking. While the intensity might vary depending on individual's fitness level, it offers a convenient and potentially effective cardio options. And ideally, we want everybody to exercise at least 30 minutes a day, five days a week. So any type of trend that helps you exercise is a good trend. Coming in number four, we have the internal shower trend. Check out this video. If you need an internal shower, you have to try this viral recipe. First, add two tablespoons of chia seeds to warm water. Chia seeds are a great source of fiber and antioxidants. And this water helps to clear your skin and reduce bloating because the gel-like texture will act like a vacuum while fiber triggers bowel movement. So, so this trend includes adding two tablespoons of chia seeds to a glass of water with a squeeze of lemon, letting the drink sit in the chia seeds to absorb all the water, then down it as fast as you can in an effort to get things moving. So the claim is that this drink can help detoxify and purify your gut. While there's not much evidence for binding and removing toxins, chia seeds is an excellent source of fiber, and drinking it can help draw in fluid into your stool to help with bowel motility, just like Metamucil does. So you are certainly welcome to use it to help with digestion, promote fullness, and help with constipation. Coming in number five, tongue scraping. So this practice has been there for a long time, but this has recently gained traction as a trend, claiming that it removes bacteria and improves oral health. Here's a video of somebody teaching it. Today I'm going to show you how to use a tongue scraper. The biggest mistake I see is that people only brush the tip of the tongue because they're scared to trigger a gag reflex. If possible, try to scrape the very back of the tongue where the odor causing bacteria hides. Now not everybody will be able to go as far back, but if you have a sensitive gag reflex, try this U-shaped stainless steel tongue scraper. I think it works really, really well. Both morning and night, stick out your tongue and gently scrape all the surfaces of the tongue from back to front. It should take several passes. The goal is not to completely remove the white stuff, but just to clean off the oral debris. If your tongue is ever bleeding, that is way too much pressure. It's important to be gentle. And the more you do this, the more it can desensitize your gag reflex. So the claim is that tongue scraping can reduce bad breath, help with taste perception, and improve overall oral health. And the evidence does support tongue scraping can help improve your bad breath by removing all that coating on your tongue. Now there's not much evidence for improving your taste or helping with your general oral health. However, Make sure you scrape your tongue every day and save your loved ones from that morning bad breath. And that's it. Top 5 health trend that actually have some evidence behind it. See you next time.